Hi everybody, welcome to another lesson. Today we will talk about uh, the application of integrals and especially using them to calculate uh, area. So there is some, you know to how to calculate the area of a square, uh, a triangle and a circle and so on. So we know how to calculate the area of some basic shape that you know. But how if you have like a shape like like a potato, like this? So how you will be able to calculate the area of this uh, shape? It's quite a challenge to do that, but with integral, uh, we can do that. They are widely used to calculate area under the curves, because if you take, for example, the potato shape like this, this is actually area under curve. Okay, and same thing, this is another curve, and this is the area of uh, the curve. And this has uh, application in various fields, such as in physics, engineering, economy, especially in economy, a lot, and uh, biology. So how integration is applied in the, to find area. To find the area under a curve, uh, defined by example for example by a function f of x between uh, two points like if we have a point b and a point a and we need to find the area under that curve this is the we can have like many different shape of curve but we will have a point a and a point b so to do that we can apply the definite integral which tell us that the area let me write it here so which tell us area is equal to the integral from a to b of f of x dx and whatever you find there will be the area of that curve so let's us take this example that we have here we have a function which is f of x is equal to x squared and we want to calculate the area of the this shape between one between one and the three so we have one here and we have three here so if you do we do that with the a calculation machine we find this so but let's us find try to find it using algebra so we have the example f of x is equal to x squared and we need the integral from x is equal to 1 up to x is equal to uh, 3 so let's go to that so the integral of f of x from 1 to 3 is equal to the integral of 1 to 3 of f of x and we know that in the integral of f of x we saw it last video which is x to the cube x plus 1 we have here the power is is 2 so we will do the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 okay and that's how we get x to the power of 3 divided by 3 or 2 plus 1 and this should be in the interval between 1 and 3 which is equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 divided by 3 which is 26 by 3 and uh, sure enough if you put this number in your calculator you will find actually it's 8.666 repeatedly which is 8.7 now let's see how to find the area between two curves for instance if you have a curve like this okay and you have another curve like this and you want to find the area between the two curves so this is the way we can do it to find this area between two curves fx we will call it fx and gx because we will have two uh, graphs 
and between one to interval a to b okay as we said in function like this okay and the function like this and we want to find this is g of x this is f of x this is f of x and we need to find the area between a and b so the first thing you should know which one is upper one which function is the upper one so in this section we can see the function g to x is the upper one okay so g to x is greater than f of x okay so our area will be the integral from a to b of j to x minus f of x the, the the upper one minus the lowest one another example if you have your graph like this like this you have this is your uh, j of x and this is your f of x okay so now you will have your integral between a and b will be the, the integral of the area will be the integral of f of x minus g of x because f of x is greater than g of x so let's ask the one example so you can grasp this clearly we for example if we have this function which is f of x okay which is x squared let's write it somewhere here this is f of x is equal to x squared and this is j of x is equal to x okay this is just a simple example and we want to find the uh, area between the curve between a and b so this is the area we will need to find okay so to find this area we need to calculate the integral we need to calculate so the area we can write the area is equal to the integral from a to b which means between 0 and 1 we have between 0 and 1 okay we are going from 0 from here to 1 to here so this is 1 so the integral of because our gx is the upper one okay so it will be g of x minus f of x okay which will be dx is equal to this will be equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x minus x square dx which will be equal to the integral from 0 to 1 x dx because we said last uh, lesson that the integral of two added function or two subtracted function you can separate separate the integral minus the integral from 0 to the 1 f of x d of x and this is equal to this is equal to what okay it's equal the first one is x square divided by 2 from 0 to 1 okay minus the second one which will be x3 divided by 3 from 0 to 1 here I can write it as is equal to integral from 0 1 x dx minus integral from 0 1 x square dx and this is equal to what this is equal to 1 over 2 okay square 1 over 2 square uh, minus 0 over 2 square okay minus 1 over 3 cube minus 0 over 3 cube which is equal to this is equal to what 
which is equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 okay and you can just do this is times 3 is 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6 which is 1 over 6 so this so the area here is 1 over 6 uh, squares okay